We had a brief stop off this morning in this uh, little town called Centerville. Historic Centerville, nice, nice old town square. It's very old, isn't it? Uh, yeah, on the way up. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh? Oh yeah, Madiduck. Madiduck. We're on our way up to the Johnny Cash Museum, Storytellers Museum in Bonacqua. We were a bit early, it doesn't hold half past ten. Yes, we made a little brief stop here in Centerville. Just to come and have a look at this. Mini pearl. Okay, yeah, chicken wire sculpture. The famous price tag, Mini Pearl. She was, if you don't know, Mini Pearl was like the resident country comedian on the Grand Ole Opry show for many years. And this Centerville is uh, where she was uh, born. So it's uh, very unusual, very clever. Chicken wire. Yeah, so this is Storytellers, Storytellers Museum. This is a, an old decrepit general store that uh, Johnny Cash was up here from. His, uh, he bought the farm um, about a mile down the road there, which we go into, back to in a minute. And he's talking to people up here in the town. Complained that. Uh, Said they uh, loved his music, but they couldn't afford to go and see him and Waylon Jennings and all the rest of them. Yeah, he bought the uh, bought this old general store. They built a little stage in the back there, and uh, Johnny Cash came and performed with. He bought Waylon Jennings and the Carter Sisters, Larry Gatlin, and they put on a performance for uh, for the locals. He said they were the it's Johnny Cash's nephew who's actually in there singing and uh, performing. He's uh, Johnny Cash's brother Tommy. It's uh, it's his son in there, Mark Cash. Yeah, he said there's no advertising, no uh, obviously there's no internet in the mid 70s anyway, but uh, no radio announcements or newspaper advertisements. Um, just word of mouth and. Charged him a dollar for the show. Of course, since Johnny Cash passed on, this place had uh, fallen into disrepair, and uh, we, uh, all the trees and whatever, had grown up around it until uh, the guys here discovered it, discovered the stage was still intact, and decided to do something with it. And they opened it two years ago, did yeah, you say? Two years ago. Two years ago, it uh, opened, so now you go in and you, uh, there's a little shop in there, there's the uh, it's a Mark Cash. There's a, somebody who puts on a little private concert and a little performance and tells stories and everything on the, the uh, hey Rachel. Yeah. Can you turn the lights up, please? Um, that, that mural there, the three D piece of art. Uh, everything on there belonged to Uncle Tony. Uh, it was found in his bedroom. Uh, the watch he gave your grandma, and there's a picture on the lower right hand side of him and Vivian. And that was just two weeks before Uncle Johnny died. Uh, June was already gone when that picture was taken. The first phone call, I'll tell you something really neat. The first phone call Johnny Cash got when June died was from Vivian, his first wife. And she said, John, I'm sorry, I know how much you loved her. So they had a nice talk and they, they forgave each other for anything that they had done or said. And uh, two weeks later, he passed away. And four months later, she passed away. And so, you know, I'm so glad that they went to heaven, the things worked out and ironed out. I think that's what God wanted us to do, you know? And then the white, the other piano, the stand-up piano back there, you don't know his name, maybe. His name is Dallas Frazier, but you know his songs. And he wrote El Barbara on that piano. And all, he wrote 70 records for Connie Smith. Seven zero. She loves him. She loves Dallas Frazier. Filled with friends and family. We 
step outside you. He laid beside me on the fender. A farmer gas his Chevrolet. He asked me, how's your music coming? Ain't it great to stand on stage? It's the only time I'm truly happy I get to sing my cares away Said sometimes I think folks like me Just because of who you are Here you know Piece of the time car. This is it. Yeah, because the song where he. Yeah, I know, you took it out one piece of the time. One piece of time from the factory, and yeah. uh, so somebody made it after, after the song. Hmm. Different seats. Oh, that's good. Got them yeah. at the back as well. Oh, that's cool. I like it. Well, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> one piece at a time. Different. Uh, Different real light. Oh, that's cool. Oh, says so the says so the different pieces here. The loud house in the jail. <laughs> it's a very modern looking toilet to be in the outhouse, uh, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Not in use, is it? The ah, we'll, uh, water feature at the garden at the back of the general store here. Yeah, all these signs are uh, 
in the renovation when they pulled off decking, uh, boarding and such, this, these original uh, paint advertisements were on the side of the building. Oh, so Mark Cash performing uh, in 10 stories in there, this is his dad's tour bus, Tommy Cash, Johnny Cash's brother because he's, uh, he's, he's He's had uh, he had somewhat of a career of himself, obviously not not to the scale of uh, Johnny Cash's, obviously. But uh, I was coming around here for the entrance course. We're in America, and we're the other side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they, so they'd get on here. So I don't want to pull it. It's. Uh, no, I better pull it, my pull the door off. And it's, it's been sitting here a while, I think. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can see anything through these windows. They're a bit, uh, Uh, I won't pull it. I mean, it's in a bit of state of uh, disrepair, actually. I don't know. He's, uh, Mark said they're doing things, Mark Cash said they're doing things all the time, so maybe that's, perhaps that's on the list, is to uh, get that back into some semblance of how it used to look. Yes, yeah, so we're going back down to the hideaway farm now hopefully we can uh, somebody's there now we can go in and have a look yeah, yeah. 